time on Loving Cars, we look at five cars you should not buy as a second hand in South Africa. That is next. My name is Erwin and this is Loving Cars. If you just uh, tune in right now, thank you very much for watching this video. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button because that doesn't cost you a single thing. And uh, it will help you into notifying when I drop more awesome videos like this. If you're watching on TikTok, hit the plus button for more awesome videos like this. Today we're talking about five cars that you should not trust in putting your heart and money on as a second hand in South Africa. Now the price of new cars has been rising in South Africa quite steadily and because of that very few people can afford buying new cars. As a result, a lot of people are flocking into the second hand market which is exactly what people would do in trying to save more money. So today we're trying to look at which are the five cars that you should not buy as a second hand in South Africa today. Starting at number five. At number five, we have the Volkswagen Tiguan 2017 and 2016 models DSG transmission. Not only do that car, does that car have a problem with its transmission, but it always have a problem with its B-pillar that is rattling each and every single time when you're driving at highway speed. Seems to be a problem Volkswagen is failing to fix because even Polo, that was designed in 2016 and 2019, still has that problem with something rattling in its B-pillar, including the car that I'm actually sitting in. It's not just it has a lot of effect on how the car drives and giving you problems. It's just annoying when you're driving it. However, the transmission that Volkswagen designed in 2016 and 2017 for the DSG is hard to service and most of the time it's not that quite reliable. Remember, when Volkswagen designed their cars, they designed them so that you can drive them for 10 years and then after 10 years you trade them in or you buy another car, which is a Volkswagen of course, so, so that they can keep on making more profit. So after 10 years, or more especially 6 or 7 years, DSG transmissions start giving you problems and they are expensive to fix them. If you are living in South Africa, it might cost you 33,000 rands to fit in another transmission. So think about that. And number two is a Renault. Any Renault car probably has a problem. Now, they are very good when you buy them new, but when you buy them used, they usually are in their last leg. And because of that, they tend to give you problems, engine-wise and transmission-wise. Some of them do last, but however, remember, when a Renault car breaks down and you need a replacement part, it will probably take you three to six months to have a replacement part. And that is the reason why I say people shouldn't buy a Renault car as a second hand in South Africa. Because if it breaks or you need any replacement part, you probably will wait six months because it has to be shipped all the way, shipped all the way from France into South Africa. And you will pay an arm and a leg for that particular part to come there. And then you still have to pay for the mechanic to fit it in, which probably will give you a problem later because another part will break. And another thing, Renault have a problem of service station across the country. If you're living in Gauteng, it's not a problem because there's so many dealerships there, but you're living in northern provinces such as Limpopo and other provinces, you might have a problem in servicing your car. So don't buy a Renault as a second hand. Number three is a Citroen. It's not like I hate the French. I love them. They do have a hand of producing beautiful cars. But Citroen has a tendency of having electrical problems, more especially with its uh, electrical windows and its headlights and fixing that particular problem is very much expensive because you have to redesign the wiring and re-put it all together again so if you don't want to spend a lot of money in fixing a car that has electrical problems and probably loses value more than its own don't buy a citron and number four is a jeep i know a lot of people love a jeep because it looks tough right remember it's an italian car italians have since been cheating a lot of things since the day of Bonito Mussolini, Fiat and Chrysler have been having a problem of engines and its interior. A lot of people have been complaining about the dashboard falling apart, the transmission breaking down, engine blowing up, and this happens to cars that are well serviced. So if you don't want a headache and you want a peace of mind, please stay away from Jeep. And at number five, or oh, number one. I've lost track because there's so many of them. This tops the chart when it comes to having problems as a second hand. Fiat. There's a reason why there are very few of them in South African roads. People know. I mean, seriously, I know. You might want to look different on the road, right? Driving a Fiat Tipo or a Fiat Panda or a Fiat uh, F100, whatever that is. Fiat has been having problems with their engines and transmission all the time. So if you don't want to replace an engine once you clock 150, 80,000 kilometers, stay away from Fiat because they are not that much reliable. However, the money is yours, so make a choice. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video and I'll be back with more awesome videos like this. My name is Erwin.